I was saying white painting is a very long growing process. Anyway, starting back up here, uh, I can see there's some distortion here. So I'm going to switch bones. I'm going to find this bone here, which is my left thigh. So right here. You know, I can see that's highlighted. Now I know when I smooth this one, look what it did there. Wow, that's pretty nice, right? And I'm just going to smooth things out. And I'm only using smooth now. We're not going to use the uh, unchecked version. We're leaving this checked. And we're starting out with smooth. And we're going to try to smooth the mesh out in each animation frame prior to doing anything else. All right. So I'm just starting out with smooth. I'm trying to really get a good looking smooth uh, look to my mesh. Sometimes easier said than done. <laughs> uh, I got something going on right here. So let me see if I can select a different bone. Maybe my pelvis and smooth it out. There we go. So I'm just selecting different bones and trying to smooth it with you know different bones. Just trying to smooth out my mesh. That's all I'm doing. Smoothing it out and somewhat fixing uh, the skin. That's all we're doing. We are skinning. We are painting the skin on now. Just keep that in mind. You are actually fixing your mesh now. <laughs> but you're only using the smooth option. Now Control Z will take back any action that you've done. So if you try to smooth something and it does something bad like you just saw there, you just uh, hit Control Z and it'll take that away. I do have a little bit of calf action there. Oh, that one looks good, all right. Now there's still parts poking through. I can't fix them though, not in this frame and not with the smooth. So I'm just going to go ahead and move to the next frame. And I'm just going to look around and see, okay, can I make that look any better? So I'll find a bone here and see if I can smooth that out some. Make it move a little bit better. Okay, doing that is not helping. Let's try a different one. Oh, wow, well, the pelvis is helping bring that out some. So I'll smooth that with the pelvis. And that helped. Alrighty. Now we haven't gotten to the grueling parts yet. <laughs> oh, that's no good. Don't want to do that. Mm, can I bring this out any? No, it looks like that's going to need pulled out, which we'll get into in a minute. So, next frame. I don't really see any problems here. Everything seems to be moving pretty fluently. So I'll move up a few frames here. Okay, yeah, now we got some major action occurring here. Major poking through. So I moved up a few frames and I can see now we get into the nasty stuff. That smoothing usually will not fix this. But I don't want to do that one. Let me try this bone here. you got to use common sense and think, okay, which bone... Uh, should I use to try to smooth? Now, see, smoothing is not solving this problem, so I kind of want to stop with that and try to smooth elsewhere. We'll smooth fix this. Seems to a little, but not enough to make a difference. Let's try this one. No, not helping. So, uh, pulling is the only way that's going to work with that. So, let's go ahead and move forward just a little bit and see if that can be fixed maybe. No, that's just pushing it in. Alright, so after you've done smooth your mesh out and it looks pretty smooth to you, go ahead and move back to the first frame. And what we're going to do is we're going to take another look at the pool option. So this whole time we've been on a max strength of one with this box checked because we were smoothing things. Now let's take a look at the other option where you uncheck the box. Now unchecking the box, let me show you something really fast so you can see this. Uh, whoops! See how strong that is? Look at that. Whoa, that's messed up. See, that's how strong pulling pulling is. Instead of pushing it in, it pulled it way out. So I'm hit Control Z, and that's why you always set the max strength when you have this box unchecked for pulling. You want to hit .02. That's a very low and manageable weight. So now I can manage um, how the how much this pulls out. See, so now I can pull the skirt out a bit and uh, showing you how that worked. So now i got to look for points that are poking through. And remember this point we couldn't fix before with the smooth? Well now if I go down and I find the bone that should be associated with that, which would be the left thigh because it's on the left side of the skirt and it's more red over here, I would go over to it and just click it once. Real fast click. Whoa, look at that. Pulled it right out. And But sometimes you want to kind of do 
a larger area when you pull something out like that because what you want to do after you've pulled it is you want to smooth it a little bit so you want to push it back in so I hit it to one do a smooth just real fast and that kind of blends it in what I've just pulled out see I did there I pulled it out just by clicking that one area and uh, kind of pulled out a little bit more and then I used uh, set this to a one check the box and pushed it back in or smoothed it and that's the whole concept uh, basically behind uh, painting weights so next thing I do is I was using the pool so I want to hit a point zero two and I'm going to uncheck the box now I'm in pool mode like I, I like to call it's not what it's called but that's what I like to call it I'm going to check the frames while I'm in the front here and I'm just going to kind of see like right here wow there's a whole lot of stuff poking through the body right here and I kind of go to a, the point where it seems like the most is poking through which seems to be like right here and I zoom in. Now a thing to notice about this area of the body is a real pain in the butt. <laughs> and I'll, I'm going to tell you right now, you will always have issues with this section on any skirt. All right? It's very hard to deal with, but I'll do my best and you got to do your best to try to pull them both out. Now if it's right here, you'll notice there's a transition between this bone here the right thigh bone and the pelvis and you have to be very careful by shrinking and growing this size here like since I'm in pull mode I kinda wanna pull this out but I don't wanna hit anything right here because that's associated with a different bone right this area here is but this area up here is associated with the pelvis and the lower spine so that's kinda the area I wanna be now I might have to shrink my um, gizmo a little bit and kinda grow it out until I get this out from where it was. And there we go. Now, the thing to keep in mind when you do that is you are pulling away from the body, so you can get this really big gap. A little gap is okay, a big gap, not so much. It'll kind of make your mesh look silly. So, kind of pulling that in. Maybe I'll go check the spine and see what I can do with the spine. The spine will actually pull it back in whenever you do a. Uh, pull on the spine I've noticed. It'll help. So whenever you're working with this you kind of want to dilly-dally uh, between the spine one and the pelvis to try to get the right setup for it. Now anytime you know that you smooth, look what happens when it, or you pull, look what happens. Kind of it's like a jagged. You always want to try to smooth that out afterwards. You can't always you know, and I'd set that to one. So I check the box, set it to a one and I do a really fast motion over it too much there we go and that kind of smoothed it out it's not at, it's still a little jagged but not so much it's not as bad looking uncheck this and the idea behind weight painting is it's always a process of jumping back and forth in between uh, the pull and the push like you're watching me do now All right now I'm going to try to hit this leg and get it to pull out a little bit now that's a large section so I kind of want to grow my brush up and what I'm going to try to do is pull this out from the leg without affecting this too much. You, know, you got to be very careful. This is a very hard section to deal with. Uh, so I got it set to the pull, unchecked, set to 0 0.02, and I need to get to the right bone. So I got it right there. I'll go like that. I'm going to do pretty large movements across this leg so it's not so noticeable that I pulled it out here. And maybe grow that down because I'm getting close to that pelvis area. This is very hard to deal with. Now see what's happening here? I'll have to smooth this out after I've pulled it out. And I'm clicking right here where it's missing. This is very difficult to do, you know. Trust me, you're going to have a hard time working with this section of the body. I have a hard time working with this section of the body. It's just a very difficult place uh, to deal with. And they're not working with skirt bones. Skirt bones don't do what you think they do. You can try to add them and play with them if you want. Uh, but they definitely do not do what you want. So until you're very experienced with skinning and painting weights, I highly recommend you avoid touching those skirt bones. All right, because we have it like this. What I just had you skin to doesn't even have the skirt bones in it. All right, there are no skirt bones. Okay, I got pretty close there. I might want to zoom in really close and then maybe shrink my brush and try to get be very careful here. It's a very tough spot. Now, I am distorting the living crap out of uh, my mesh in this animation frame, but that's okay because uh, I can smooth it. 
or as I was talking about the smooth. All right, it seems like I have gotten as close to this as I'm possibly going to be able to get. Yeah, I don't want that. This just takes an eye. I mean, you really got to work hard at it. Interesting. The more you do this, the better you'll get at it. See, I am really close to my mesh right now. Just to give you an idea where I'm at here. And what I've done to this mesh is I've basically pulled it out. And now I kind of, uh, you know, before I move forward and try to fix the rest of what's in there, I'm going to go ahead and try to smooth this just a bit so I get a better idea where I'm at. All right. And when I smooth, I want to grow the brush up pretty big and then smooth it. That's not too bad. Yeah, there you go like that. Look at it from different angles to try to get a better idea. Yeah, it's pretty good looking. I'm just taking my time here and trying to smooth things out, make it look really good. All right, looks nice. All right, now I'm going to move back in. Now I can see that the pelvis is kind of having an effect here, so now I need to kind of select uh, another bone here. And, uh, yeah, I guess it would be the pelvis. Now I'm going to have to shrink this way down. Or maybe like that. And I just gotta keep playing with this until I get it in position. I don't wanna smooth it, I wanna pull it. Alright, there you go. Whoops, I'm set to a 1. <laughs> That's not good. Let's set that back to a 0.02. There we go. And try to grow it out some more. Hmm. And it's going to be, I'm going to be hopping back and forth between both of these uh, bones here until I can get this just right. Push that back down. All right. All right. I might have to get a little bit of drastic. Sometimes you have to get a little drastic when doing this section. I'm going to go back up to the top here. And I'm going to set this up clear to a point one. All right. That's very violent. Uh, and you'll see here in a second. Whammo. See what I just did there? It's a very violent move, very drastic, so you only use something like that when you run into this kind of area. Now, I know it looks kind of folded and crappy looking, but that's okay because it's going to have textures on it and uh, the, the animation is very fast. What you want to do is kind of get rid of the white because the white is the body, and I don't want the body poking through the skirt. So I'm trying to make it to where that body is not poking through. There we go. And, uh, no. Seems like right here I'm gonna have to shrink my brush down. Nope, that ain't working. Let's try hitting that with the pelvis. And uh, remember, I'm in a drastic mode right now. I got this to point one, and I'm pulling out with a very powerful, powerful brush. But that looks pretty good. I can still see some white in there. And uh, there we go. Now I got this pretty nice fold. You can't really tell anything's going on there. And it's not, uh, no need to smooth it or anything. I mean, if I smooth it, I'll push it back in and I'll screw it up again. So I'm kind of just going to leave it the way it is. But I could probably smooth this out. So I'm going to turn this into a smooth. Set this to a 1. And that should be the pelvis. So I'm going to try to smooth this out, make it look a little nicer. I'm not going to be able to get it great, but eh, maybe I'll hit it with the thigh. Try to smooth it out a little bit. Yeah, that looks nice. Uh, I don't want to do that. Be very careful. You know, you can always control Z if you screw something up. Oh, yeah, that looks pretty good. Now I can also see that I have something going on over here. So I'm going to have to pull this out because remember we couldn't smooth it out, so now we got to pull this out. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go over here to my max strength. I'm going to set it to, uh, you know, 0 0.02, something very low. I'm going to uncheck uh, paint blend weights. So I'm pulling. And uh, probably got to think which bone do I want to pull from. You know, which bone do I want to pull. So uh, let's see. I'll see you here in the next video.